Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this episode we're going to be installing this uh, roof rails. It's a pretty straightforward job, but uh, instruction says it takes about half an hour to install them, but it took me more than that. And I tell you why. You see these uh, blank screws in here? You see these blank and screws or bolts, how do you call them here? You have five of them. So it's one, two, three, four, and the fifth at the very, very back. Okay, so you have to take out three of them in order to fit a roof rail. And they held in place with uh, something called a speed nut, something like that. Okay, that's what inside of your roof. Uh, these blanking screws screwed in inside of this uh, so-called speed nut, something like that is inside of your roof, okay? So one in here, one up front, one in the middle, one in here and one at the very, very back, okay? So what happened to me was I ended up cross-treading one of them and it was just a nightmare okay so i'll show you the screws which are bolts which are supplied with a fitting kit these are the bolts okay so we supposed to go inside of the speed nut like that okay and apparently this is holding your roof rail okay so if you can imagine this is inside of your roof that's the system okay so i ended up cross threading one one of them so i had to replace it so i'll be showing you how to replace one of this as well so i ended up um, cross threading a nut in here so i had to replace it so i'll be showing you how to replace this nut in here okay and it's located just just somewhere in here okay so stay tuned so um, these bolts are supplied with a kit but they were just too short okay J just too short so i ended up buying a new bolt which is a lot longer bolt, as you can see. And uh, it's about 75 mil. And uh, you can cut them to length, to whatever length you want them to be. But we'll be covering this late in the video, all the lengths and everything, okay? So you might want to go ahead and buy these bolts in advance, okay? So it's gonna save you a lot of frustration. This one particular, we are stainless steel, uh, from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for you below. Okay, so stay tuned Now I got myself a kit which contained of uh, Roof rails itself and the crossbars. So I'll be using the crossbars to fit my uh, solar panel But uh, you can get them separately you can get the uh, only rails or you can get on the crossbars for example or you can get a kit that's exactly what i did it's an aftermarket aluminium roof rails and it's kind of an oem design so the only problem is we're not uh, rated to carry something heavy okay i think we only rate it up to 50 kilograms but for most uh, like roof boxes uh, rated to up to 50 kilograms anyway so it's okay now this is where speed nuts gonna go okay now when i was taking my speed nut out i kind of um, bent a housing a little bit so i couldn't find any information on the internet how to take it out properly so i just ripped it out and um, here i'm just trying to make everything as it used to be so a speed nut can fit 
properly and it didn't fit properly so it's supposed to just a click in in its housing and the one side would just didn't want to go in so i had to make a little adjustments again so now you can see how to properly take it out without damaging the housing i'm just using the pick tool and uh, inserting it to the hole underneath i'm just trying to pry it from underneath and then it's supposed to come out easily And here just uh, take number two, but still wouldn't go in. So I just um, gave it a light uh, tap of a hammer. Ideally at this stage, before you put your speed nut in, you might want to um, spray some hammered paint on the panel of your van. And uh, in here you can see it eventually went in. It just clicked in. So happy days. Now yeah, it's in so place. Place. After we installed our new speed nut, we can uh, glue our carpet back. Now, this have the longest bolt supplied with a kit, which is, uh, how you know, 65 bolt with the threads only, let's do it, threads only 60, 60 mil, okay. And the five mil hat, which is too short. It just, I don't know, I've struggled big time. I just couldn't get it in, okay? So I went to the home base, bought a longer bolt. But it's only, it's not stainless steel. See the difference? This is about 70, 73, okay? Less than 75. So I'm gonna make it. I know this will fit. Okay, this is a stainless steel I bought on a, off Amazon. So I'm gonna make it the stainless steel exactly the same as this one here. See how long it is? Ideally stainless steel washer would go in here as well, but I don't have it. Well, I have it somewhere, but just can't be bothered. But uh, this washer will go. Okay. So safety first.
just about the same. Now, speed nut. This is in your roof, okay? This nut is in your roof. You see how, how loose the nut itself is? Look, it's moving around. So, when it's in your roof, you train to lay it. It can be very hard, it's a pain in the hole to lay it, okay? So, an original blank screws have a very pointy tip, see it? So, if not, is like that, for example, screw goes in and I kind of place it in place, right? So, what we're trying to do, we're trying to create, we're trying to create, create a tip like that as well. Something similar. So, this nut is not right, it's not a light with a hole in your roof. The screw will go in with a sharp tip and it, it will position the nut where it's supposed to be. Okay? We're gonna dry fit everything anyway. Just to see first. I'm happy with this screw, or bolt, shall I say. Two more to go. Now, these are only 45, so I'll take the head off. It's really like 40, which is reaching down to your roof. Again, it, it is possible to fit this in, but it's very, very awkward. Very awkward. I've struggled big time. So we're looking something like that. Okay. Look at the difference. We're looking at around 55 mil bolt, okay? So we're gonna make out of this 55 mil, okay? Which is around here somewhere. So I'm gonna have to mark. bit gonna have to come off yeah to five okay one more of this and we're good to go
and then here you can see I'm using a uh, bolts which I bought in the uh, home base but the only reason why I'm using it it was the day before when I got my delivery of Amazon with my uh, stainless steel bolts and uh, as I said before before you uh, use your sealant make sure you're gonna dry fit your roof rails first so you can see the length of the bolts and everything just make sure it fits before you make a mess out of it so and uh, use some sort of a hybrid uh, sealant adhesive which is a uh, waterproof and uh, I'm sure you can use something better what I'm using and uh, now just simply tighten your bolts I'm starting from a middle bolt here just uh, don't forget to place your rubber seals which is uh, supplied in the kit they go between this plastic packer and the um, roof rail itself And uh, here we have it, one side is fully installed, uh, that adhesive just uh, needs to cure as well, but it's a nice sunny day, so it uh, will have a good chance to cure. And uh, now we're moving on to the second side. So before you put your roof rail, you need to put these plastic packers in place. They go between your roof rails and the bodywork of a van. So your roof rail basically sits on these plastic packers. Here I wasn't happy how it was sitting on the one, it was kind of bowing a little bit so I gave it a bit of a bend so I bent it back so it would be like straight, so I've straightened it back, so it sits nice and flush now.
and uh, in here I just wanted to dry fit everything first so make sure it's gonna fit before I put that sealant in and uh, once you happy everything fits as it should it's time to apply your sealant maybe it's a good idea to degrease the area first with something like white spirit or brake cleaner And uh, once we fitted our roof rails, it's time to fit our crossbars. Before we can do it, we have to put this uh, plastic end hooks on. Uh, I'm doing it in the winter and they just uh, were very stiff and didn't want to go in. But a uh, quick uh, use of our old trusty heat gun and we went in no problem at all. And uh, now you just need to secure it to our crossbar with a um, self-tapping screws uh, provided and uh, here same again just a good close-up of um, this plastic end hooks being secured to a crossbar using the self-tapping screws And uh, here we have it, roof rails and uh, crossbars are finally fitted. This uh, half an hour job turned into a bit of a mission, like a three days mission. So <laughs> at the end it was okay, so I'm happy with it now. Now guys, thank you ever so much for watching my videos. If you found it helpful, please give us a like, share and uh, drop us a comment. Your views and your comments really motivates me to make more videos for you. And uh, for now, take care and I'll catch you at the next one. Cheers.